Uh, pretty sure the time has changed. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh god, time has changed. That's uh, that's crazy. I I gotta meet this dude who made these clocks, man. I gotta know who did it, and I gotta I gotta give him personal props on these clocks. Like really though, these clocks are fucking phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know if you're being sarcastic because I absolutely. I'm love not. Them. I love these clocks. They're. <laughs> I love these games, and these clocks could be one of my favorite things about these games. It's crazy. They're like, like everything looks good, but you expect everything like you know to like look this way. Clocks, you don't expect anything from. Yeah, you know, like you you don't even like I don't think creators of games really expect you to look at them or anything. Mm-hmm. So like normally it's just something sitting up on the wall. Yeah, and it's usually like they don't even put a second hand in. It's usually just fixated on time. Etc. Right? Like, it's not a big deal. This one, care and love. And I'm, I'm not being sarcastic at all. I love these clocks. Okay. Anyway. I didn't know, because, like, the first time I pointed it out, and fucking Dr. Langescoff, you sounded really sarcastic about no, it. No, I was being legitimate there, too. I'm like, this is a really fucking good looking clock. Alright. Are we yeah. ready? We're ready. Go. Alright, let's all right, do this. Right, well, Run it. Fuck everything else. Look for a waiting input. Through this door, I can make it through them all. But turn off the computers. I feel like there's a... I feel like this is just like the, uh... Huh. I bet it's an, on another computer somewhere. Yeah. I feel like it's just no like... how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Huh. I feel like it's just like what happened in a... a, a, a please don't touch anything, where it was like... You clicked it and, like, a bunch of them turn it on and, like, you gotta turn them all off and... I could see it. Yeah. Oh. Should we go to the left now? No, there's one more thing on the right. Go. Go for it. Fuck the left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime. A work of art. What was it about this room that called so deeply and so personally to Stanley? Its grace? Its subtle charm? No. Stanley knew it was something deeper. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, something dude. Come on. What are, you, what are we doing? <laughs> I was doing circles. I'm sorry. But eager to get back to business. Oh, yeah, we never actually Stanley went to the left, did we? Nope. Open door on its left. We, we already did it. Come on. Come on, dude. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Nope. <laughs> Gotta go to the left now. <laughs> I'm so sorry, God. Uh, All right. Ah. Uh. Okay. I changed it. Almost broke for a second. Hey, it's just saying loading over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And over. Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, from here it's, um, left. Left? That would be right. That's right. Oh, okay. We're just looking around. I, I think they actually forced me. Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. Ugh. No, 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 no. Not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear. Would you hold on for a minute, Chris? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. We went down right, left. Down, left, right. Yeah, yep. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it. Alright, good. This story is absolutely definitely this way. Okay. Uh, this doesn't look good. Why why do I feel like I'm gonna get run over? I also feel that. Okay. Alright. So what is that? A generator? I guess. Okay. Whatever. Get to the door. 
And oh, oh, uh, oh uh, God. Uh, okay. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay. Fired. Only one person was. Oh. It's all rubbish now. Oh, it's literally. It's literally. rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track. Hmm? Okay. From the top. <sighs> all right. I fucking love this game. Is genius. <laughs> this game's taking away from <laughs> from me being able to be somewhat comical. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it, we went, we waited like twenty minutes, didn't we? Oh shit! Or I guess like fifteen. Okay. I I I feel like very like Michael Sarah whenever I do these. Why? Just awkward and Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> like heard me. <laughs> like I'm not actually funny, but just because I'm me, it's it's funny looking. What? Restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted. You fucked up everything. <laughs> everything should be. Goddamn, Michael Sarah. Keep fucking up everything. Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or? A... <laughs> Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay then. It's uh. An oh God. Stanley, let's find. Story. Oh, <laughs> oh God! <laughs> All right, go go to the ones on the, the the sides there. I would not go through those. This one? Any any one that's not the two we can normally go through. That would be these two. Yeah, don't not those. Okay. So where's oh. this? Dude, there's so much. Wait, there's a clock over there. Look at that clock. Where? On the wall. Behind you. Right there on the wall. Oh, that's a good looking clock too, man. That's got like a yellow tint to it. Said, this is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. <laughs> do we just do we need to restart the game again? No. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's gotta be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Alright, this is fantastic. Okay. Right, yeah. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the <laughs> meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. All right. It's like a weird. Whoa, 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 go back. Go, go back. Go back. Go back. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. Can you see anything above the ceiling? Uh, it doesn't uh, have a ceiling. Okay. Oh, computers. Pew. Uh, no. Okay. What? What? I can crouch. <gasps> you can crouch, dude. Dude. Dun, 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 dun. What? Did you see that? Whoa. Crouch. Go through there. What the fuck? Uncrouch. Just what the fuck you do. Uh, Did you fucking break the game? Uh, Can you not go back through there? What the fuck did you do? Uh, did you see that? What the fuck was that? What was what? Dude. Oh my fucking god, dude. Can you go through there? Like, is there an invisible door there or something? What, are you what the about? fuck? What? God, this is a mind fuck. What's through there? Through where? No, go go back. Just continue. Just progress. What the fuck? No, this is the same spot. It's the same spot? Yeah. There's just a hallway? Yeah. What is this? House of fucking leaves? <laughs> I'm, go in your office real quick. See if the awaiting I input... I can't. Oh, yeah. Uh, this game... What the fuck is happening? It really likes... Fucking with no me. No more crouching. This is scaring me. Anything changing? I don't see anything. Okay. Now I'm like on alert here, man.
Okay, uh, it's worse. I uh, you're remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Okay, I'm listening. Okay. Okay. See the store anywhere? Uh-uh. Okay. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. God. Here it comes. This game loves to fuck with me. Yeah, it does. Maybe they forced you to finally go down that hallway that you kept avoiding. No, wait. Never mind. I've got a story. Okay, oh, this is really reminding me of that House of Leaves, man. Alright, I'm heading back the other way. Uh, oh, you're trapped. Oh, uh, oh no. Where am I? Oh, this is... Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Hmm. Oh, he's losing it. Me? Well, you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! <laughs> a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. All right. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, this is an enjoyable little game. It really is. The Stanley <laughs> Parable Adventure Line. <laughs> okay. I like how it splits. All right. I've got a solution. This time to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? <sighs> oh, it looked like it broke in, in, into two. Whoa, new thing. Uh-huh. Just go ahead and go on straight. <laughs> Think I should? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, um, I was telling you about that book, House of Leaves, right? <sighs> Go on in. No, no, I'm down. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um... He's done ma playing games with me. I'm yeah, sorry. he's done. So, th there's this book, and a uh, guy buys a house, and he, op he he starts seeing, like, the house is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Uh, like, he does, like, measurements and stuff, and he realizes that, uh, like, there's this room that's literally bigger on the inside than it is on the outside um by like a quarter of an inch or something i don't know like something really small and then the house starts developing like closets he never knew were there the house is alive um like oh and he, there's a, there ends up being a door like on a wall and he opens it and it's like a a six foot long hallway but that six foot that six feet does not exist it's like the outside wall that the door is on huh and once he walks through there it's like <sighs> what's up getting drink uh-huh there's like an infinite amount of space in there like every t they went down the hallway they turned left there was like a corridor there with like separate rooms and stuff and they end up planning these expeditions what are you doing i'm looking around they end up uh, uh, solitary. Uh, uh. can you jump no yeah but they end up like planning these expeditions to the house and everything's all like weird and kind of twisted all right. Well, uh, let's go right. Nothing. Four B four four, four three seven. What, what is that? One ten left. Four B six. This has just been a grand old adventure, hasn't it? See, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. The cool. Who'd have thought? Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? 
simply by the act of moving forward. Okay. Are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being by the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? What? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. <laughs> now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? I'm just going to look at this okay. picture for a while. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of What's your over there? subjective experience this of yeah. this office... Is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Well, well, <laughs> Jesus wait, Christ. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. But I'd like Go to open some stuff. Out. Move. I'm, I'm sure listening. I'm going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Yes. <laughs> Next time, next time, next time, follow oh. the adventure line. SG, oh. 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 that's it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>